Minnesota Vikings added to the wide receiver room today, signing 2014 undrafted free agent Albert Wilson. Uh, most recently played for the Miami Dolphins, and he was picked up by the Kansas City Chiefs and undrafted free agency played for them for the first bit of his career. Uh, as you can see here, he's 5'9", 195, 29 years old, All, will, be tw- will be 30 soon. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a solid depth depth signing. Uh, he's going to come in and compete for that probably that fourth wide receiver spot, maybe third, who really knows. Uh, I know they're talking about potential punt return duties for him. Uh, he's only had, I think, like four or five returns in his entire career. They've all been kick returns. So interesting signing. It's a depth, sign, depth signing, as I said. So, uh, Jamie, what are your thoughts? Um, before I go into my thoughts, I want to thank everybody for watching the GG Sport Podcast. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. We're about halfway there now. So please hit that subscribe button. Help us out. Uh, we The more subscribers, the better content we can make and produce and all that good stuff. Um, also hit that bell, get no- notifications for more of our videos. And yeah, so I think, I mean, it's interesting because I don't know for sure if we really need, um, is this the next, some stats right there? Yeah. Um, I don't really know if we really need a lot of, like much more for wide receivers. I feel pretty good with what we have with ISM, OBC Johnson. We're talking about, you know, guys after KJ. Osborne, but BC Johnson, um, Naylor, and ISM. So it'll be interesting because I don't know how much room we have on our wide receiver, how many wide receivers we're going to keep, especially with all the run, running backs that we have. So it'll be kind of interesting to see how that turns out. But we are obviously looking for somebody. And um, I say that because even a day ago, we were looking into signing him and we ended up getting Andre Wilson. Over. And that's what kind of like when I saw the news, I was like, well, is he a punt returner? I always knew he had speed. I remember in for Kansas City, he had a lot of speed, but we looked more into it and we didn't see a lot of punt returning. Um, but so it'll be interesting. I do think we're we are looking specifically right now to fill that punt return role, which I think is fantastic because, you know, Quezzi is filling every hole of need. And it is kind of obvious now that that the punt return is kind of the next step. And we're kind of watching him figure that out right now. Um, So, I mean, I like it. I think you get as many bodies as you can get in there. And, and, you know, maybe he does have that skill at punt return. He just never had the shot. I know he has the speed. So it'll be interesting signing for me. Yeah, just kind of checking out the receiving stats here, of course. Uh, 218 receptions, one yard away from 2,500, 12 touchdowns, something – I found a little bit interesting here, looking into some of his deeper stats, if I can get down to those here, is passing stats. He has 2 of 4 for 50 yards and a touchdown in his career. So <laughs> who knows? Maybe someday he'll be coming for Kirk Cousins' job. But <laughs> day, probably not. At the end of the day, you never know. Let's, yeah, just who knows? Every, let's just keep him at receiver, possibly punt returner. But at the end of the day, competition breeds better talent. Uh, p- players try better when there's more people there competing for those spots. Obviously, top three are locked down with J.J., with Thielen and of course with KJ, KJ. Um, but outside right. of that, you know, you, you got you got probably four guys fighting for that fourth spot with ISM. You've got right. BC Johnson. You've got Andre w- Elbert Wilson. You you messed me up the first time, so call him Andre. You got Elbert. <laughs> oh, Wilson. I said that Elbert Wilson. My bad. Elbert Wilson. You, you got him in there as well. You got Jalen Naylor in the mix. So there's yes, yes. a ton of a ton of potential for that for that fourth wide receiver spot, and it, it's going to be exciting to see where this goes. Um, Obviously, not a lot of love gets thrown to the fourth wide receiver, but they're right, isn't everybody right. else. They're one play away, hey. or one injury away from having a prominent role. Yeah, we can just we just got to be happy that now we're doing all of this for that fourth wide receiver spot and not the third wide receiver spot like we spent doing for the last like five years at least. Right. So for now sure. it's kind of like, and now we're just getting bodies and bodies for that fourth spot. So we can kind of you know that I think. And man, it's a hard thing. Like ISM, I, I feel like he makes the team for sure. I guess we don't know for sure. Um, but I think it's going to come down to a guy, whoever can be the best punt returner for our team is going to make our squad, I think. Yeah. And and that's why I think, you know, I think a lot of, they're putting more bodies for that fourth receiver spot, but I really feel like they're putting bodies for that punt return spot. Um, it'll be interesting. I mean, he had, I mean, on, or Albert Wilson, for being an undrafted free agent, he's had a long career. Um, I see you're smiling at that. I was gonna say Andre Wilson, Albert Wilson. <laughs> so I think it's it's a it's a solid, you know, at this point, low risk, um, g- good chance to see what this guy can do. Especially, hopefully, I, I I think he would have a chance at punt, or at least they're gonna check him out at punt return. Otherwise, we got a pretty deep, uh, deep receivers in my opinion for that fourth spot. But yeah, get as many bodies as you can in there. 
Yeah, for sure. Um, let's see. I believe Chris Thomason had the contract details here. If I can find them, uh, one year, one point one point one two million, non guaranteed with no with no uh, signing bonus. So if he comes in, doesn't work out, you cut him, and you don't uh, you don't lose any money there. So yeah. but know, we're still it's, making it's, moves out here. We're yeah, still making risk, free agent moves. Yeah, low risk, probably middle ter- middle uh, return reward there so at the end of the day all it is it's a competition signing get as many you know fill out the roster get into training get into mandatory mini camp training camp then you got to make the cuts and stuff we'll see if he makes it past cuts but more competition at the end of the day that's all we're looking for so yeah if you want to check out some of our other videos you can click the links right up here check those out most importantly though like jamie said subscribe to gg sports podcast help us get to a thousand subscribers and we will see you guys in the next episode let's go vikes